How about you? I'm Hank. The other day we were working on a John Deere 450 for a friend and we got to talking and he told us that he had a friend that had a D8 and he didn't know the year model but it was a cable driven machine and he said hey let me get you in touch with this guys because I think you'll like it. So we went and looked at this D8. Man, you won't believe we pulled up to this thing. It was covered in just bushes and trees. Been sitting there over 20 years. And we were able to, to kind of walk up to it and we just realized something was wrong right off the bat. So we thought, we need to tackle this thing. And so we dove in. But there's something else that really cool happened while we were there. We were able to get in touch with the guy that cranked this machine 20 years ago and he was kind of telling us about how he did it and some of the procedures that he used. But I'm telling you, it proved to be quite the challenging task. It was, it was crazy. So let's get there, let's get, the, uh, let's get all the juices flowing, let's get all the tools out and let's see if we can get this D8 pushing dirt again. Two boxes, two. <laughs> I brought some tools with you. Let's go grab a biscuit. Yeah, Ling sausage is where it's at. I guess I'll grab Molly a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. See, I'm always thinking about Molly. Grandpa's cough medicine. No. Ever what, ever what you want to do, no, no. All right. All right, follow me. He said, whatever you want me to do, no. Cause I thought they had the the lever was like in this area well, here. That's the one what we've seen on the other ones. They were there, but these are all mounted. Yeah. All here. Yeah. There's a high low. That's your high low mm -hmm. motor when you right for your pony motor. Uh, it's in high now, but go back into low and. Uh, one of these engages, probably this one. Yeah, I, I, I see it hitting the starter down here. That's the. Oh yeah, it says something start. Yep. EL electric start. Okay, so that says run something something, run kill something. That probably uh, may may open your valves. That, that's your compression release right there. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. 
You right, shut that, that off and when your valve's closed, your engine. You smell that pole cat? You know, that's when it's, you start it. Yeah, You're the right. of a skunk, can't you? Um, no plug wires. Y'all smell that pole cat every now and then? Yeah. Huh? Y'all getting a whiff from old pole cat? Yeah, yeah, it stinks. Uh, Boy, conditions is rough out there here. There was an updraft carburetor, but that one there is on the top. I ain't never, I don't know what kind that was. But most of your carburetors were. Yeah. Even on that one, you know, that mm -hmm. big, big boys. Yeah. That one was at the bottom, and that's an updraft carburetor. Now, this one here is, would be upside down. Not unless they had a. So how would. REG. This is your points in there. Now it's in here. Uh, like a magneto or whatever. Yeah, one of the ends is off. I guess you could put it up in there. Hmm. I wouldn't even know where to connect. I wouldn't know where to connect. The, would you connect the jumper cable? Like if you was going to run 24 volts, would you connect it? Um, here and down here somewhere because when that when you do that that right obviously d pushes that in or out but that is stuck like chuck hmm. yeah, well even even your lockout on there is probably stuck yeah I, I definitely had to put some to and... yeah Man. now while he's making answer your question on your He's the pro. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. got the pro right there at it. Yeah. Uh, now, Wiley, I've seen you do some great things when it comes to power. I would say let's just go get a machine and pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> that, I've, I've done that many times with the grader. That would be mine. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder how you, uh, how you could even lift that blade up to get it to where you could pull it off. Whatever you're going to pull it with, you'll try to pull it. No, I'd have to borrow my, I'd have to borrow that 450 again. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to raise it up with another tractor. Yeah, and with a blade of that and then chain it off, yeah. Just like you would a hydraulics. Now, I'm telling you something, that right there has got a, a fantastic undercarriage under it. And I bet you them things, uh, I heard, I watched Matt also, and I hear him talk about the tracks being froze up, mm -hmm. and that dozier that we just did, that Alice Chalmers. Yeah. I see what they're talking about then. Now, like you said, you could throw them things away. Those, but those don't feel loose at all. <laughs> well, I don't know if you every one I've ever got on would give a little bit when you step on it well that's but I guess once you get it running you'll just keep yeah and those are those are pretty new yeah they don't, they don't have that much running time on them yeah and see that's the thing when you get those dry pins and bushings and they're new like that and they set up they're so close to tolerance Till it rests in there, yeah, it seizes everything up, right? That's just like that one on that 550 I had, it was brand new. And when he let it sit there, it when we did get it finally duck walking, and that's what it would do, yeah. It, would, it was trying so hard to those kinks in that, yeah, track. And, and I talked to the guys down there, and they said, the Best thing for you is cut them off and get you some new set. You know, he said, But now I heard a guy tell me. And you're gonna think this is odd. <laughs> Tell me if you just take them things off and lay them in water, it would soften up that rust and you can get them to rotate around again. Well, I, I think Hank told me you said that. I've never heard of that, but I guess that would make sense. I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but it's. Well, let me let me make a phone call, and let me see if if the, the so let me talk to the the guy that cranked it 20 years ago and see if 
if he can tell us how to jump that starter. Did he jump it? I'm not sure. I think so. Hey, Mike. Hey, good morning. This is Hank Hamilton. How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Hey, I got on this starter on this old D8 out here. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to try to jump it with 24 volts. Is there a... I only see two lugs on it. There's one on the bottom of that starter with like a little switch plate on it for to connect to the pony motor. Uh -huh. And then there's one on the top right side that just got a lug on it. Is that the t is that where you hook it up to? Uh, you well, I you know I wasn't thinking about that last night when I was telling you that that little that wire that goes to that pony motor. You might want to unhook that because if you throw 24 to it, it'll burn that uh, little pony motor up. I think someone's I already thinking about. It. Yeah, I, I I think someone's already done that for us. So, oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, it's called, yeah. There's one that says starter ground right there. Uh, yeah. uh, but no, we uh, they they don't have um, they took the carburetor off of it, and uh, evidently some rodents have gotten to the plug wire. So we don't even have a carb. That's why I was gonna at least try it with the the starter. You know, hooking hooking straight to the starter. Yeah, that. Uh... Man, that uh, uh, that compression release yep. right there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Uh, take and, and and not get compression release out. Okay. And spin and spin it over just a little bit where it gets some oil in the top of that motor. Okay. You know, and then uh, I didn't uh spin it over and then hit that compression release and let it kick that motor over. It should bust right off. I mean, I didn't have any problem with it the last time. I, I took the fuel filter off, put some good fuel in it, and okay. I fired that thing up, and it run like a dream. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna investigate a little bit and and see if we can make it happen, Captain. Hey, uh, there's something I need to need to uh, run across you. I talked to a guy last night, and he's got a lull that hadn't been cranked in a while. Okay. Tell you if you want, might be interested in if you want to come and crank it or whatever, that'll be entirely up to you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be that, that we're always that'd be real good actually. So, uh, can I call you tonight and get his number? Oh, yeah, 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 you can call him. Okay, yeah, I'll just and, uh, I mean, if I run across anything else like that, I mean, you know, something that y'all might be interested yeah. in with or something. I'll uh, I'll give you a holler. Well, I sure appreciate that. That's my, uh, that's uh, we appreciate that more than you ever know. But um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna dig around this. We're gonna dig around the starter just for a little bit and see if we can't make something happen. And then I'll call you and let you know how we did when we get when we get done with it. Okay. All right. Thanks. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh -huh. All right. Take care. Bye bye. It, it sounds like what he's gonna do is get the pony motor started with the starter, and in other words, he's spinning the pony motor, but you engage your big motor while the pony motor spinning with the starter and then hit your compression release to get it that's okay. what he's trying to do okay i mean uh, th I this is why i brought this is why i brought you, bring you guys <laughs> all right so let me go grab a bunch of pb blaster soak all that down i bring a little hammer too because it looks so like you might as well take those plug those plugs out if you're going to just spin that that'll I be mean, easier to press it up yeah yeah yeah. Because your, your pony motor's just dead. I mean, yeah. But you're using the gearing of it all gotcha. to turn your big motor. Right, right. Jeff, you ever done something like this? No, sir. <laughs> Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that ain't the first time for everybody. That's right. Let me go grab, um, let me grab the um, PB Blaster. We'll soak everything down. We'll get the plugs out. But do you want me to, I got a jump box. Do you want me to bring the jump box and just... Um, See if we make something happen before we dig out all the batteries and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Because if you click it and it nothing happens, then there's no use of hauling batteries over here. You know what I mean? Uh, well, yeah. Or do you so, think you could tell? I don't know. I, I, now it makes sense to me what Jeff said. Yeah, we're me, just turning the engine right. with the starter. That's right. Yeah, you're just going through the gearing part of it to get to the. That's right. Engine. No, it makes. I, you know, oh, it does boy. make sense to me. Yeah. That's 
Mm. And that, that little starter is going to have a job. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so we should probably check the oil and the big the diesel. Look how big that diesel motor is, dude. <laughs> that, thing, that thing's six foot long. Okay. All right, we're working through. We're trying to learn something today, so hopefully you guys are learning something with us. Um, let's get, uh, let me get some PB Blaster, or my little hammer, and like I say, uh, I'll bring some stuff for the... All right, what you need, no hippie tooth? No, I don't think I need, I, I think I'll be all right. This is a compression release, right? Yeah. That's right. That's a compression release. Uh, we have to find out what engages the pony motor to the big... That's your high and low. We'd probably want to put it in low. Come on in. Water's fine. You say the water's fine? <laughs> Didn't even spill his coffee. That's what I'm talking about, driver. Right. Yeah. Uh -oh. People just park something that's running. And... But, you know, that's what happens. Let that be setting for a little bit. Yeah, that, uh, if you can get that button there, Hank, because that's, you've got to pull that to unlock the, out of the hole. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. No, that's good. <laughs> no, that's only we need, I'm sure all of it. I didn't know that, I didn't realize that was a button. Because I think, my assumption is, and you tell me, Wiley, what do you think about um, what do you think about that piece right there? See how it? it uh, That's the starter. That's yeah, but it. but doesn't it look like that piece right there should move? That's the button. You know, you know that's how you throw in your starter in gear, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Does that button move, or does it just need to make contact with it? Oh, I don't think you would need to make con uh, push it in. Engage yeah, push it, right? push it in. Yeah, that's what. So let's see. Motor's gonna go spinning, and you're gonna slam that in there. I think. Oh, it moves. Yeah, it moves. Let's see it. All right, good. All right, good. <laughs> there ain't nothing small about this. I can tell you that. Ooh, son. What I said, it makes mine look like a tinker toy. So high, So, what is the high and low, Jeff? High and low is, is the speeds that your pony motor relates to your big motor. There okay. it is right there. Pull that back. Though. There's what threw that in gear. Yeah, right. Okay. See, so know. does it need to be in high? To, I mean, or... I, was, I would think it would need to be in low to give it more power to pull the motor. With what we're trying to do? Mm -hmm. Even... Well, see, I've I done my homework and I watched the video of the <laughs> creek. Yeah, yeah. And they tried to turn it over in high and, and it wouldn't pull, so uh, they switched it to low. Okay. And that's where I'm getting it from. Okay. All right. No, listen, Diesel Creek is the uh, the authority in this kind of stuff, so. Lug over there. I think, and then there's one more. Okay, so that green wire, this green wire goes to the bottom. Yeah. All right. So that's the ground for sure. And then if you look, there's a... Where does this one go? It goes, it goes nowhere. I, I, yeah, I would say that looks a little small to be carrying 24. Oh, that current. Uh, but on the other side, there's a uh, there's a lug like what we did. But see, that don't go to anything at all. I think there's supposed to be a solenoid on there, wouldn't there? A I just think if that's just one would go to that and it just ground to the machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is this is low, mm -hmm. and this is high. That's high. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? No. Because I, I see it on the 
I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's cast on there. <laughs> okay. Does that pull out or, or screw out? Well, it, had to, it, it would have to pull out because it's got that, it, there's a point to it and it goes in those holes. Yeah, but I didn't know if it screwed or... Oh, I'll get some vice grips on it and see if I can get... So if you get the coddling kit and put, put the hot right here, set the batteries right here, ground to the frame, you should be able to All right. throw it to it. Bring that pin out, then you slide it down and pop it back into that Ooh. hole. Right. Jeff, it's your coffee. That's mine. Hey, Wiley. Hey. I got, uh, Three dollars of gas today, thinking we was gonna put it in that pony motor tank. Yeah. So, so I just need you to reimburse me for that three dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they robbed the tank. You got nothing to put it in, do you? I know you said something clever when I couldn't hear you. I said they took the tank out you. Don't have nothing to pour it in. Yeah. So that means you don't owe me $3? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Like Is that the only lobe on the starter? I dropped the nut. <laughs> there ain't no way in the world to find that thing. It's like it's... There is no other lug on this side. That wire right there. Throw it out of my hand. There ain't nothing to... I mean, it's on the ground if it's anywhere. Let me see. Oh, no way it's coming this way, that's for sure. What's that right there? Huh? What's that doing? It looks probably your uh, clutch. Mm. Throws it in and out. There you go. Forward and reverse, maybe. <coughs> this, what is that? Is that throttle? How do you push it back down? Very careful. Very careful. Very strong. Wow. Yep. Wow. I got a magnet, Wiley. That not where it fit? Yeah. Oh, it did fit? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have to pull the motor to get the boat out of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? This is the only thing about big machines. You need big machines to work on big machines. That's it. Yeah. I'll grab that battery while you're doing that.
You need a plug socket? Yeah. I think I got one. I think I actually brought some deep wells. Was that 13 sixteenths? I think so. Thanks, sir. Bigger? Yeah. Seven eighths? I think so. I'm sorry, Wiley, what? That's what that man, that thing's even loose. That's loose. Somebody already done did it all this. Oh, that okay. Well, there you go. I actually had a, the right size deep well socket. We don't need it. Uh huh. That needs some water, cut. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to get all on there. That got a tip on it that screws down? I'm blind. I don't think that looks like it's uh it's wire. Can you get your fire something? Yeah. That don't where you other one at? See it's got the regular tip on it. Yeah. Just popped off, huh? Yeah, I don't know what it's supposed to just pop off. That's <laughs> supposed to. Well, there you go. That skunk yeah, is smelling kind of right. Yeah, that's skunk. What y'all don't smell is there's a skunk around here, and it is ugh, horrible. Well, it's either that or Wiley had Mexican last night. <laughs> that's one of that one's still in here. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. We just do it though. This one. Look at that. Broke it. I'll try one of these. It broke. Oh. It went to worse than it all on there. Yeah. So the down action. there on the spring. I ain't never seen one like that. It had a good connection. Well, we don't need two batteries, I think. All right. You just. I'll get a second one. You got batteries in your truck just in case, Wiley? Uh, probably. Let's see. We'll uh, put the negative on this one. And then we'll jump yeah. the two. You need to spray any of that stuff, Jeff? No. Oh, that's a hand crank. Yeah, it, it, you got a squared top and that rotates that. Yeah, that's a hand crank. I'm just noticing that. I thought it was a radio antenna. Yeah, you hand pull it. <laughs> it should be a... a You're talking about you can turn that and it'll turn the engine over? Yeah, it, it, it's a... Yeah. Or crank that engine. Yeah, crank the pony motor. Yeah, okay. So you could actually put a drill bit on there and help doing what we're doing if you want to. A drill bit? I mean, a um, <laughs> yeah, cordless what... drill to be turning one of this. No, I, I mean, I know what you're saying. I just, can you imagine? Because I don't, I don't think you turn them circles, right? It's just like a... You pull it. You pull, just give it a good pull. Yeah, right, right. They would turn in circles. <laughs> uh, yeah, because right here's your switch. See? Turn on the switch. There's your carburetor link. Where's that one at? Uh, I think you put it on that. So let me get you. All right, you got some high scripts down there. I don't want to use the vice grip on it. 
Uh, let me see if I got another. Yeah, this one on the bottom of this might fit. Here, would this fit? No. Uh, let me see if I got another one here. I, I got one, Wiley. I think that one work. Do what? Oh. There's the old dipstick. What'd you say, Jeff? He's cool. He said they ain't making oil. He's making oil. You clean oil. Flapper out. Let me get my, my grinder out. That on there. Just... Well, you got it welded to your front. Yeah, it's welded. Right, Why don't we get this thing started with no carburetor on? Got some of this right here. We got vice grips beginning. Surely grounded it. We'll find out. Oh, that ain't good. Well, it didn't. You want a tighter net? Yeah. Man, I squeezed that so tight it hurt my teeth. Let me check the oil in the in the diesel motor. Yeah. So that means the engine's not locked up, right? Or what's that thing? Just turning anything in the engine. Well, put your finger over the spark plug holes. You do it. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> no. Can't be something that's. What's that link is supposed to go to? All oh, to the corn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are you gonna check the oil before we yeah. attempt this? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got to do this right here. Should we take that air cleaner off? Would that that whole thing pull back? Something's got to be pulled back to get it off that. Got this kill dozer over here. Wow. I don't know what that says. Half. And we want all, right? Yeah. See how all the engines go is you get you turn your diesel motor over like you were saying to get your oil pumped up. And because you have to watch your gauge, even with a pony motor, and when your fuel pressure and the oil pressure gets built up, that's when you kick it in and get that compression on your motor. Right. 
It's got plenty of oil in it. That's Maybe. not even making oil. Um, these, uh, they got three huge filters over here. I guess those are fuel filters. Or maybe. And then I got a, you got a pressure gauge over here for fuel pressure. Uh, let me, let me, uh, it's got a primer pump on it, Wiley. Let me uh, see if I can prime some fuel in it. All right, hey, hey, hey. All right, unless this is a bleeder valve. About to find out. Oh, that's a bleeder valve. But that's what that's for. All right. I remember seeing them on some of them videos where they. So that bleeder, that was a bleeder valve, not a primer pump. Okay. We in neutral just in case this thing cranks up and goes to run. <laughs> I didn't park in front of it, so we're good. You know, this thing's got an international blade on it. It says I I, on get, it. I guess that's neutral. What do you think? We're, the, we're gonna find out right quick. What it I'm gonna put this throttle at half throttle. Yeah. Well, as long as your clutch is not thrown back, it's, it's not engaged. Yeah. I don't know what, what, is that forward and reverse maybe? Yeah, they had a, a forward and reverse shifter plus your transmission shift. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna leave that yeah, neutral. That one, that one there yeah. is the forward and reverse. When you clutch it out, you just slam it back into the other and go. Okay. Oh. Wow, this thing's cool, isn't it? Well, you know, back in the day when you rolled off the center line, that was the machine. There it is, right, right there. <laughs> I'd get, try to not be directly over it. I mean, if you get shredded, <laughs> let, let me get down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> That, oh, we gotta fix that. Uh, no, not doing it. No, it's, the piece came out. You gonna put your finger between there and then push it? Yeah, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Mm -mm. But, uh, Can you take this wrench and shove that button in there or do you shove it all the way? Yeah, the, button, the button's moving. Yeah. All right, we got it. Do you this? Uh, does this engage that? What's that? Say? Now, you don't have, this, yeah, you don't have is, one to engage your, your. Here's a clutch. Here's a pinion. Clutch pinion. And then this is high low. Well, I think your pony motor. To you start to your pony motor should be. Just uh, turning just like you would a, one on a car or anything else. Where you engage that is, is your big motor. Uh, Cause that's sitting right there with it. Let me look at that linkage. Not unless those are the ones that engage your motor you got to have ones to engage your your pony motor to your I, big oh, motor. Okay. That's just your speeds there. Okay, we're in low like you said, the way right. we want it to be. Okay. So, so that pinion is what you need then. I got you. This right here is what yeah, engages the, yeah. the motor to the little motor to the big motor. You can turn it. But why does it go right there? It could it, go onto the flywheel, don't it? Your flywheel. Engages your flywheel. It's got to turn, it's got to spin that motor, and it's probably doing it from back there. If you're low, you've got your starter, and those has got to be the ones that turn your big engine, because you've got to get it spinning once you get your pony motor fired up and warmed up. Let's just see if that. Well, strange, it has two. Yeah, that's... 
Weird. I mean, that's definitely moving something back here, but I'm not sure if it's so moving. So what you're saying, this, this will throw, this will throw, engage that. Yeah. This is going to engage This the, will engage a big engine when you get the phony motor going. Okay. Okay, I got see, you now. You're, you're, sitting, you're, you're sitting on this. I always thought they was inside hitting something, throwing it, but. See, your pony motor is not just a motor for a starter. It's also to heat the engine. Okay. It, 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 it circulates everything. Uh, you water, it, it heats everything up okay. so that it's like a glow plug. Right. It's just the old timey way. Right. And what it does is when you get that pony motor all warmed up and get everything, you engage your big engine. Yes. Sir. And get it turning and get your oil pressure and your fuel pump going. And then when all that's primed up, you hit your valves. Okay. Which starts your big engine. All right. So just this this actually just just well, that was sparking. See if you're high low. Pull it back in. When all this gets running, that's where all of the stuff happens right there, where it goes into that, and that turns in the flywheel right. that turns the engine. Mm -hmm. okay. That turns the big engine. Okay. Do I need to tap on that starter or any? Yeah, because it... Yeah, it sounds like it just, it's not engaging. It's, it's the your starter's not throwing the bendix if it's got one, which I'm sure it does. It wouldn't be a direct. Yeah, because if that was locked up, it'd just be bam, it'd That's be hitting it. hard. Yeah, hitting right yeah. hard, yeah. Yeah, I see what you, I, I see what you're talking about now. When you get this running, this right here's got something about doing the kicking, kicking. Kicks the big it's probably right. throwing out, uh, something like a Bendix. Yeah. You just shove it right on that flywheel. See, when I, when I cranked out on Toyota Raiders, it was like that, and you, or say we're up here in the seat with you, and you you open your valves, which is your uh, compression. compression. Then you you had a lever that you once you got your pony motor fired up, you had to choke and you throttle yeah. and all that inside the cab, and you got it running. And then you had your lever that you once you got the pressure and everything, you pull that lever, which would be that, and get that big engine turning. And once you've got a big engine turning, then you, like I said, you've watched everything, and, and then you hit your valves. And then when, you, when your valves crank, you just let your, your lever go and right. keep the compression on. Now you can, now Jeff, can you spray ether in that diesel? If, the, if, if we get the diesel hitting, we can spray ether yeah. in it, can't it? Yeah. Just like you would any other engine. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that, that will... Um, the whole objective is to get the oil pressure built up before you switch over, correct? Or yeah, kind of, kind of. Well, what they what they're wanting is, like I said, you 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 want to get your oil pressure going up on your engine and your fuel. And your fuel, okay. Yeah. And, and then, like I said, when it gets primed up, and you're warming your motor too through this motor yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, once it gets pumped and warmed up, and you run it a while, then you that's when you get your big engine going. And. Uh, or you get your big engine going yeah. and it do its thing, and then that's when you close your valve to get it current. I just don't know. Maybe confusing you, but no, I, no, it does. I, I I understand. I've I've done one many years ago. I kind of understand this, but I I don't know why that all of a sudden it's not then just bumping. This runs out. It should. Uh, your starter turns your pony motor. <laughs> Fanboy. 
Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You just engage it. All right, now, you do it. Let me get <coughs> uh, need a bigger wrench to pull that with. Uh, on the other side, get us some. On the other side, the very bottom drawer, it says big wrenches. <laughs> on the... Yeah, that's a good that's a good call, Jeff. It opened up some type of gearing. Right. Yeah. He was talking about gearing something, and I'm thinking, well, maybe that's what that lever is for. Yeah. Is to engage. I'm trying to think, why would you have a start? You know, starting it that way with the lever, and I'm thinking, well, maybe it engages. Yeah, yeah. And then, I'm proud of you, Wiley. I, I thought I was going to have to draw pictures for you. Did you? Yeah, but you did good. Now you should be able just to do it with that. Pour it up. All right, ready? Yeah. It's like it ain't, ain't wanting to engage. Yes, ain't now there's like an that. adjuster on there. You want me to run that nut out? But what I'm saying is this is really not let me. All right, ready? Yeah. Um. That nut is turning freely. Or uh, let me let me get it out of the way. Let me get this out of the way, and then you. Now I'll just do it with the. Uh, Turn, just spin it. And that just looks like that should just shouldn't be an issue. That should no, unless they've got a tooth ground off or something. See so when that when mm -hmm. that shows out, uh, it's yep. hitting this right mm -hmm. here. And yeah. spinning. I'm sure that's throwing a gear in there. Well, even if you came back with a carb and a plugs, you wouldn't. No, you'd have to engage that starter. All right, right. Let's take that starter off. I'll All take right. it off. Mm -hmm. It's just them four boats, boats to whatever right. that is. You can actually see what it's doing anyway. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Just, yeah. It'd be the, the starter bending. Yeah. I'm going to bet a small mouse got in there and chewed up that <laughs> index like that 1953 taste. It's like fine wine. <clears throat> Older Bendix. Make beautiful lovers. Well, like you said, uh, there's somebody that might want this thing. Is it for sale? I'm not sure. Oh. I got it. I'll call them and ask before the video's over. But if it was for sale, somebody might want this just for the undercarriage. Yeah. Ever do? Put some money into it. I mean, even the idler is in fine shape. But now, see the ones I buy now are the lubricated. Pins and bushings. Oh, uh, salt? Yeah. Yeah. Salt and that means what? Well, self something. They make the, the bushing on the outside bigger. Right. It's because your, your internal wear is lubricated. So you're not wearing the inside of your bushing and your pin out. And now you can get them turned if you want to, but they tell me now, and, and used to back in the day you did. But now, you 
just throw them away and get you a new set because it costs the same either way to, to I'll do it. Okay. And the one thing I like about it is the salt tracks come with the gator jaws. You don't have to beat that in out of the right. thing. I'm just getting too old to swing a sledgehammer. Yeah, I know. I feel you. I feel your pain. But on this size machine here, that's, that's several thousand dollars worth of Those uh, teeth are worn down. We're gonna have a dentist do. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Might have to come to that same dentist that Rudolph carried that grumpy old <laughs> monster teeth. <day. laughs> <laughs> that was all that was the matter with the bomb of the snowman. Yeah. Had a tooth thing. Yeah, that's what it was. Might not be able to get this one with the. Okay, I can't see good, but you tell me if that is a. That looks more like a pin than it does a. Unless that bolt head is just so rounded off. Does it have a third one or? Let me one? take this off right here. I think that third one back there is a. It's like a dowel, that, but there, I mean, the fourth one. There's another one right here, it looks like. They're covered in dirt, you know. I, I would assume that that's a, a bolt head. Oh, fart. I knew that was gonna happen. That's a pretty important socket. <laughs> what? I said that's a pretty important socket. When you're down there getting it, get the boat. Yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> Rats. Does that third one back here look like a dowel? Or does it look like a rounded off nut? <clears throat> the, the one back here in this corner? Yeah. Maybe, just maybe. Ha ha, I can see it from here. All right. Look at that, huh? I heard it when it clicked. There though. Yeah, that's just kind of what the that lever's sitting on. Oh, okay, yeah. Right, there's the third one right there. Alright. Is the one I think no. You think you take that third one off and it'd be just tap it off off there? Well I don't see anything that's you got one, two. The third one's going this way, right? Mm -hmm. Is what you're looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see it. I can see it down there. Right, right. I, I think I need a swivel. So, Jeff, that 450 we did with the, we put the fuel filters on. Mm -hmm. He's going to have it for sale. Uh, it was a really clean machine, but the undercarriage was pretty shot. Well, that's you while they park. <laughs> uh, well, if I buy it, you gonna help me put the sprockets on? Yes, sir. I'll help you do everything you want. Yeah. I'm thinking I might need a swivel. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Darn. And that your uh neighbor's got this motor's probably real good in it yeah 
you know, we couldn't check out the rest of the machine. I mean, the, the motor is, they didn't tie it, tighten it back up to the front of the bell house. Oh. So he said he used it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me find a swivel. So that won't, in other words, you can't get that on there with the socket. Get my big head in here. That might, that might work. Uh, rounded off, ain't it? Yeah, sure is. It is rounded off big time. It's the first time this has been off since it would come out of the wherever it's back here, come out of the This one was made in Belgium. <laughs> Will I make the waffle? <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. We, uh, we had one actually made in France. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> I see what you did there, Jeff. There you go. Look at that. There you go. There you go, Hank. I got it's loose. Get it out of there, boy. I gotta get that bolt out off. I think what's got us is this right here. Ow. Alright, I'll stop where you can put your hand back. I'm wondering if it's got a, uh, is the boat out? Uh-uh. That's all I got us. Yeah. Connected to that gearing in there somehow, ain't it? Huh? Connected to that gearing in there somehow. I wouldn't think so, but. Still can't get a good eye and just see what might be holding it right there. Yeah, I mean that's what's holding it. I say that, I, I'm not sure. Let me get, get you a bigger crowbar. All that is is just for that lever to swivel on. That's correct. I don't understand why. Let me get another one. Ugh. That just wouldn't come off. Let me get the back side of it here. When you get it lifted up, I'll go under. Now how that, how does that go under that? Where's your flashlight? You want to take a peek, Jeff, and you can see if you put a different perspective on it? Had your handle throw to the back instead of engaging and see if that might release your. Nope. I believe I'm released. I believe all that's released. It's whatever that is, I thought would have come yep. all together. Being that loose? I know, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Looks like it would come up out of the hole. Huh. Well, I don't know. We don't need, you don't think we need to take those off, do you? 
I mean, just to, for clearance, not because it's stuck, but just for. This whole starter? Yeah. Where it's called is right there. Yep. Right there's a oh. bolt right there. Oh, well there you go. Pull it back to you. Okay. Alright, right there is a bolt. That makes sense that there's four. I mean yeah, I can just barely see the right there. Yep. Is that a bolt? Looks like it. Okay. Can you? Yeah, there's a bolt there. Uh, I don't know if a, will a socket fit on that. Got to, hey? No, I'm saying that because that elbow right there. Let me try a socket. Let me. Well, if, hand me a, a flat screwdriver so I can get the dirt off of it. Probably need one of those tiny. Right? Yeah, that must be. You have to have a very thin wall socket. Yeah. Might be why it wasn't too tight. <laughs> yeah, that's the. You know, you know what I have flashbacks on, Wiley. No. That fuel pump on that Mac. Remember those two bolts we couldn't? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, let me see if I got thin. I think I, I got a deep well that might be a little thinner. It ain't turning and it is locked. It is. Turning the engine now. Well, that, that is the sequence right there to it. Yeah. But I, I just don't think that starter is going to be enough. To mm -hmm. we'll, we'll. <clears throat> no. No. It did turn. Did you catch it turning? Uh -uh. I did see the. Yeah, let's do. It. See if you. Fan blades are turning. Yeah, try it one more time, Wiley. We're on a bad spot. Right now. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Got it. Catch in there. It's got. Pitch. All right now. Oh, I'm engaged. That's what it you want is. me to engage it? Okay. Now I try. I think it. you want to engage the big motor. Oh, the clay. <laughs> yeah, I got you now. Yeah, now we got it. <laughs> You can't turn that with your hand. Put a rope on that thing and run it to the back of that Chevrolet. <laughs> Let's see if it'll turn again one time. Need to engage it. What are we doing? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to see. All right, here we go, Ray. Yeah. Thought that might would, since that was turning, just yeah. put it in a gear. Well, that's the way you usually would do. Yeah, that's the way you normally do it, yeah. 
but, but it's just not enough ump to do all that no motor there to turn that big motor even though it was it was ancient a while ago yeah but it didn't just slam it in there all i right. thought that might have worked yeah. we're just gonna slam it in here all right well <clears throat> me and jeff witnessed the spin <laughs> And that's all that matters. It is turning. But carburetor and yeah, not having uh, not having the carburetor and spark plugs and fuel is a well, and the, well the flywheel is the, the number one problem. But if you had that, if you had that turning, that would be a lot easier. Cause once you fired it, you wouldn't ever have to worry about that again. Nope. So that'd be the next, if you're gonna do it just. Put that back on there, get it where it'll run, and then just play with it till it starts. Yeah. You're not, I, I don't see how that guy did it, but he said he did. Yeah, I'm sure he did, because, I mean, you, we saw the fan move, so, I mean, he just, he had he had the luxury of having a, 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 a better start, you know. Yeah, his ring gear was probably in good shape. And until. he didn't bang on, I mean, you know, the starter was not abused when he got here. So, well, this this is definitely a uh, this is definitely a candidate for a comebacker. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can get this thing cranked up. So there might be a, a part two to this one. Um, the owner says he's got a a carburetor uh, at his other house, so um, maybe he, we can get him to bring it back, maybe a manual or two, and see if we can't get this thing fired up a carburetor some plugs and uh a fuel sub source well we gotta check the the points and all that too but uh we'll do all that when we get it all put back together you guys leave comments uh and let us know exactly uh some ideas that you would have because i think we're pretty darn close uh you know you see the fan turn once you're pretty close so anyway appreciate you guys watching take care god bless